Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you my new Paltex COB RGB IC LED light strips. So RGB is red, green, blue, and IC is individual controllable. So you can control different segments in the light strip instead of it just being all one solid color. Uh, so these are COB, so it's more of a continuous light instead of seeing a bunch of tiny LED lights. So inside the packaging, comes a couple things. So you have the LED strip, which I have dumped, uh, really just spread out over here on my countertop, uh, because you're not supposed to turn it on while it's rolled up, and I wanted to show you how it works. Also is a controller. So this is a handheld controller. It comes with a battery. You just gotta pull out this uh, tab that's under here, and you can control your lights with this. You can also control it using a smartphone app, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And over here is the controller that it comes with. And that you just plug into your lights. And over here is the power supply. This is a 24 volt, 72 watt power supply. So I'm going to plug that in. And I'm going to show you how it works. So besides the stuff that I bought, um, also it comes with the instructions. So besides these, I also went to the store and I bought a couple accessories. So I bought this set from the same company, Paltex. They have multiple connectors in here uh, for different types of connections. So I'll just show you one for example. So here's um, clear connectors. Here's a connector with open wires on the end. And here's one with this black part, that's the same part that could connect to the controller. Um, so there's use for different functions. So you can see right over here, on that line right there, you're able to cut these. So you can cut it to the size that you need. And see over here, right? So and over here, right, you can cut them. Just make sure to cut it on that line right in the center. And then you could install them uh, based on the length you need. And then you can make multiple connections. So for example, if I wanted a double strip under my cabinet, so I would run this whole length, and then I would take one of these connectors and connect the, the two ends in order that it's continuous run. Um, if you have things like this over here where I have a hood and I need to get across to the other side, so they also sell a long spool of wire, which I bought. So this is 22 gauge wire, and it just, um, I think it was like 65 feet, so this should be enough for my whole uh, kitchen. I bought three packs uh, plus these accessories. I'm hoping this is enough for my whole kitchen. So now that I have it all set up, I'm going to show you how this light works. So if we take the remote control, it's got a very simple on button and you can see how bright that is. And you can see this is what's called the continuous, the COB. So instead of seeing a bunch of small LEDs, which you can still see a little, but it looks pretty much uh, consistent, especially, especially when you're not looking directly at the light. Uh, then when you press the remote, you can turn on different um, colors. So you're gonna switch to green, to blue. Um, so even in the video, it looks like there's a bunch of dots. Um, right now, it's just the way the lighting comes out. It really doesn't look that way. And this looks terrible in the video. Um, so it's. Yeah, the, the light just doesn't, doesn't justify um, how it actually looks. So when you do a yellow light, it comes out uh, easier to see. There's a blue and a purple. Uh, so there's different colors. And then you can also do the mode. Um, and they all just switch to different you know, lighting designs. And when you press mode again, it'll switch. Press mode again. I'll do it again. And then you have a bunch of different controls here for increasing the speed, uh, switching between your favorites, uh, doing music mode, where it plays according to the music, and then you can do things like this, where you can make it rainbow mode, which looks gorgeous. Um, meteor mode, stars, or fire. Right, so there's a bunch of different presets on the remote. Um, for me, personally, I'm using it mainly for white because I'm using it for under cabinet lighting. But when my kids get in the mood for a dance party, we're going to switch it to the fun stuff. 
Uh, here's the user manual, so it's really simple. It just shows through what I already showed you. You take the power supply, connect it to the control box, then you have your remote that will work, and you connect it to LED strips, and you connect them how you need it. Um, I'm going to show you the smartphone app now. So you have to download the app first. Uh, no need to create an account or anything. Um, you just need to um, click add and you'll find the light. So let's uh, start right here. So here's my devices. So just click it. I'll say connecting. Once it's connected, you can press these to change the color of the light. And then these are for solid colors. Um, you could also do dynamic colors. So here is where you can see it's on one rainbow. Here it's stacking, right? You could switch anywhere here to a bunch of different options. And then save your favorites to whichever ones you like. Um, and then here's the music mode where you could tell it to listen to music and play um, based on what it hears. Over here is a timer. So you can set a schedule. You just click the plus over here. Uh, you set a schedule what time you want it to go on and off at what time. So we'll just set one for fun just to show you how it works. So we'll do every Tuesday. We're going to turn it on. And then do OK. Um, and then we'll hit yes. So 11.26 p.m. on Thursday will turn on. And you could turn off that timer if you want, if you don't want it to run. Uh, that, that's basically the whole app. Um, here's you can rename the device and do a color collaboration. Uh, that's, that's how you set it up. The last thing uh, for control is the actual local control so that's the button right here so once i mount this i'm going to mount it under my cabinets and you got three buttons here you got the power the mode and the uh, power m and s so to power i'll just turn it on and off right and it's going to go back to the save setting so for me let's say i'm using it under cabinet lighting i'm going to set it on you know plain white and then i could just press the power um, on and off whenever I want and I'll have my lights but if I want to do the fun stuff I could hit the M button and we could go into rainbow mode or you could pr keep pressing M and we'll just keep switching to different settings so we could click the S to change the speed so if you want to slow it down or speed it up you can press that and then we can press the mode again to keep jumping between different options and then if you hit power then power it again you'll see it goes right back to it i prefer using the remote for setting uh the color because it's just easier to click it um but then for turning on and off i like using the wall mounted one because this one i just got to tape onto my cabinets and it'll be a nice, secure, uh, easy way to turn it on and off. So these are the Paltex Smart COB uh, RGBIC COB LED light strips. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll try to answer your questions. Thank you. Have a great day.